Tucson and Pima County have over 4,000 street names that we drive on every day. The Ronstadt family is in the center of a street renaming over family property that's been sold to a local home builder. I remember someone telling me a story that when my great-grandfather built that property at Tucson Boulevard in Prince, that was way out in the booties. Right. And people were scratching the head, why would you go so far away from Tucson to build your house? And, you know, here it is years later, and it's right in the heart of town. A piece of Sierra Vista Acres was sold to the Ronstadts nearly 100 years ago. They built homes on that new acreage. David Layton was hired to come up with new street names for the old property and spend time researching a lot of its history. We're standing here next to the main house. Uh, it's just all rubbles at this point right now. But this was the main house of the uh, Ronstadt property here that was known as uh, Las Cabanas. Um, so Fred Ronstadt and Lupia Ronstadt bought the property in 1923 and then they proceeded to build a total of I believe three houses here. I mean when, when I came here a couple weeks ago there was an alarm going off in the house and even though they've torn it down the alarm is still going off after, after they tore the house down. The last voice of the old home before everything left is loaded up in dumpsters and moved to the landfill. Out with the old and in with the new. I remember growing up in that house and Christmases were a big thing, uh, but lots of memories there. Um, memories of my grandpa reading Don Quixote. He had a huge Don Quixote that was in Spanish and he would sit in the sun reading his book. I remember being taken by my folks out there uh, and watering the, the entire complex with my grandfather in hand and I did that until I could ride a bike, and then my weekends, my Saturdays were spent biking out to my grandfather's house and doing the watering with him and for him as he got older. We also saw another great-grandson, Tim Ronstadt, inspecting what was left of the only portion of the house still left standing, the Beehive Fireplace, which witnessed many family gatherings. These new streets would need unique names that somehow factor in those family memories. Greater Tucson probably has somewhere between about four and 5,000 street names, and it's growing every day. Um, so it becomes more and more difficult for these uh, developers to come up with different street names. Um, one developer told me one time that he had um, come up with the street names for a subdivision by taking darts and throwing it at a map of the state of Colorado. So he picked out different towns or cities in the area. Um, other ones will just basically uh, look at maps of Phoenix or other cities and just take street names from there and then apply them to Tucson if they haven't already been used. My name is Robin Fryman. I am Pima County's addressing official. I take care of the addressing for all of unincorporated Pima County, the city of Tucson, Oro Valley, Sarita, I work with the foreign language expert to name the Spanish street names. And then they're helping me to check for correct meaning, spelling, gender, articles, correct prefixes. There were two names that were given to you, and I believe they were approved. Are Lupe and Frederico. And the subdivision is known as Las Cabanas. But the street names are to honor the Ronstad family. And there's a really great story in Valentine's Day. In 1904, Frederico married Lupe, and those are the two names, Frederico and Lupe, that they want to use for the streets. Linda Ronstadt's grandparents and great-grandparents both had those names, Frederico and Lupe. Fryman says there are two ways to name streets. First, the way most developers do it. Submit a plat of the area that's being developed along with the proposed names. Or you can do it. But you can also name a street through a street naming application and you can name an easement that way, you can change a street name that way and that's a different process. So it costs $563 for a street naming application and then that's a different process where there's notifications of 51 percent of the properties addressed off of that easement or if it's a street name change, you know, properties with that street's address. Mm -hmm. And then we record a document and a map showing the street name change. Are new street names ever rejected? So many names get declined because they're too long. 
simply that's probably our most limiting requirement in the addressing standards. Primary street name and suffix can't be any longer than 16 characters and spaces in length. Management of the home builder has decided to market the new homes in the historic Ronstadt subdivision by keeping the original name of Los Cabanas, or the cabins. And it's a little early, but later this year, those homes will be overlooking either Fred or Lupe Street. It's great not to forget the history of Tucson because that's what makes Tucson so unique. Um, but it's also wonderful to add to the history of Tucson and that little piece of property because, you know, they're naming the streets after my grandma, my great-grandmother and great-grandfather. So that, that part of history will live on.